Hey now, it's Anthony with a a Lawn and Mobile Car Wash Services, and uh, today I gotta trim these bushes. Just look at them. These things are overgrown and all out of whack. They're touching the roof, and I gotta get them looking like something again. This is my first year doing this property. Actually, this property is about five or six houses away from mine. Uh, I've been putting off doing these bushes, but I'm gonna go ahead and do them. I don't really like to do bushes. I don't like to trim them and all that. It's not necessarily the trimming part, it's clean them up because they get in the flower beds and you know if you got mulch and pine straw you know it's kind of hard to get it, get it get it clean as I would like and I think that's where most of it coming come in is cleaning up raking and all that don't really not too fond of that but I know a lot of people like to shy away from it but I don't I, I don't really shy away from it I go ahead and I I go ahead and I do it because, you know, it's some good money in doing this. And what I like to do is just do them on a day I'm not doing yard. So I try to uh, try to make it to where I don't have to really do much on Saturday. So what I do is I put all my mulching and pine straw jobs on Saturdays. But um, this lady, she has bushes around the top perimeter. We're going to go back here. And I'm going to show you what it looks like back here. Um, I had intentions on actually doing all of this today. But when I started looking back here and started looking up front, I quickly changed my mind. And I decided to do this on another weekend. So I'm going to do this next Saturday. And uh, I just told her I'm going to split it up. And it's going to be a work in progress. And uh, she's okay with it. So... Hey, I'm gonna keep pushing and uh, you know like I said you know I don't I don't like to I don't shy away from stuff like this because here's what can happen you know you can say hey uh, well I don't do bushes but I would like to cut your yard let's say if you do that you run the risk of her calling someone else to do the bushes and eventually giving them the yard too so you know that's why I don't turn them down and some people just just don't take the whole yard and at this stage in this stage of the game I can't I can't really turn too much down and then you also got to look at it you know it's hot we're going through a serious drought right now it hadn't rained in about 30 days so the grass is not really growing and you know I'm trying to make sure that I get as many jobs as I can and make as much revenue as I can to hold me over in the slower months and uh, what I like to do with these bushes is I like to go the front of them I like to go up and down and I make two to three passes to make sure I get the stragglers and you know get as straight as I can. And once I do that, I hit the top and you know I go from right to left when I get on the top. And it's just the same method, just simple. You know I'm not trying to make <laughs> sculpt no angels or nothing like that. Just get it straight. You know square them off and I'm gone. <laughs> you know so. That's what I. <clears throat> that's how I handle those, and you know, like I said, I went and got me a ladder, and these trimmers are excellent. I love these type of trimmers because uh, I'm able to cover a lot with these trimmers, you know, because they're long, and these are not the. This is not the attachment. This is just a trimmer. And it's not the little attachment where you can hook different things up, and I paid almost six hundred dollars for these things. I don't know, I think they overcharged before, but 
okay, I made a lot of money with them, so it's okay. But, you know, so now, now, now that I'm gonna be trimming these bushes down when I when I do a yard, these bushes like to grow fast, so I'll keep an eye on eye on them. And when I'm cutting, you know, when I come to cut the yard, I can just hop up here real quick, you know, knock the little stragglers down, keep a good shape on them, and keep it moving. Look at that. I'm even getting back, and I'm getting the ones in the back. But uh, yeah, right here. Now, I hate being by here. I be scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I be scared because these were the stingers be at. Bees, wasps, things like that. They be back here, they be waiting on you too. And uh, sometimes you don't even see them, you just feel them. So I try to get in and out of there as quick as I can. Oh, knock the camera down. Oh, but it's okay. But uh Yeah, now I'm uh, I'm just getting that excess uh, stuff off, excess uh, clippings off. I'm trying to get it as clean as I can. But uh, now here's the fun part, the part that I hate raking. But it has to be done. It has to be done. I sit out here and I do what I gotta do. You know, so I'm over one big hurdle now. I got one of those big bushes. The other big ones is on the other side. Man, I be excited when I get to the other side. But uh, I mean, I enjoy what I do. I make a pretty decent living doing it. And uh, it's it's growing every year and. Like I've been saying in earlier videos, I've been trying to diversify the business off of my um, clients a variety of services. And um, what I do is I do, you know, lawn care, of course, uh, over detailing. And I just do a lot of related services that ties into lawn care and mobile car wash. Uh, you know, when I when I go to when I go to a client's yard, I always tell them, hey, you know, you got this going on. You're gonna need this. You're gonna need that. I can do this for you. I can do that for you. You know, some some of them, you know, you may come to their yard and they have a lot of a lot of weeds and stuff like that. So, you know, and this stuff is not hard. You know, you just do what the instructions say. Spray the yard and no weeds. You know, fertilizer things of that nature, pine straw. Uh, I let them know I offer these services because, you know, my goal is to, you know, with the clients that I already have, you know, just offer them my services and try to at least do more than just what they, what they contacted me for. You know, they contact me for you know, washing a car, then I'm gonna say, hey, I do yards, you know, I do bushes, pine straw, uh, weed control, fertilizer, you know, I can pressure wash your deck, you know, I can pressure wash your patio, your driveway, your house, your patio furniture, things of that nature. And just let them know that, hey, these are the services I provide. And that way, you know, I'm doing more than one service for a client. And that way I'm able to bring in more revenue with, with, with a few, with, you know, I don't have to have 60 and 70 clients. Like right now, I'm almost at 40. And, uh... I don't want to. I don't want to get to that stage where I have, you know, 50, 60 clients, and I'm running all over the place. You know, if I have about 40, but I'm offering them all these services. You know, instead of going to their house and making forty dollars, I can go to their house and make a hundred dollars, or ninety dollars, or eighty dollars. You know. 
know, because some of them, you know, they don't know that you do need, they don't know that you can do all this. Some people just think, oh, all he does is cut grass or, you know, oh, all he do is wash cars. But if you tell them this is what you do, you know, you may wash their car Monday and come cut their yard on a Tuesday. You know, you may, you know, you may a hundred bucks off one client when you usually, you know, so that, that means you can have less clients and I can make the same amount of money that a person with 70 clients making. I have 30 or 40, I can make the same amount of money that, that this guy's making. That's my plan and I'm gonna keep pushing, you know, keep pushing that plan, diversification. You know, that make them aware that I have different services to provide different products. And, uh, this is, I'm happy right now because uh, I'm on the opposite side of the house, which is mean I'm almost going to be done for the day. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that we have a YouTube community, YouTube lawn care community. I didn't know that. I started watching these videos a few weeks ago, and I started, you know, I was like, wow, I didn't know, I was looking at many views, people was getting it, you know, looking at these other guys putting this stuff out here, you know, there's two that, that really stand out to me, I know it's a lot of others out there, I can't remember their names at this time, but the one that I, <laughs> that I enjoy the most is uh, Geek the Freak. Uh, I love his videos and he inspired me to do to start doing videos as well and uh, the other guy uh, forgot his name but it's a uh, top notch uh, lawn care or something like that he, he makes some good videos so I enjoy watching his videos too so you know hopefully I can get to the point where I'm getting just as many views as that I want to get into the uh, lawn I want to get into the YouTube community and, you know, do what those guys are doing, you know, I'll be watching those guys, they, like you see, he's been doing this since the 80s, and yeah, I was a little boy in the 80s, <laughs> wow, you know, I've been doing this for four years, and it's grown a lot in the four years I've been doing it, and, um, I enjoy doing it, I don't think, I'm not going to say I'm not, I'm not going to say ever, but at this point, I don't think I'm going to work for anybody. Um, I made this as much money as somebody's willing to pay me working on my own. So why would I have to work? Why would I work for somebody else unless they're offering more money? You know, and even then, I still have to think about it because, hell. Yeah. I mean, if I keep at this, I'll, I'll be making making way more money than, than somebody's willing to offer me, so, this is, gonna, this is me, this is where I'm going to be at, so, uh, I'm almost done, you see I'm cleaning up, throwing the garbage can, I'm happy, and, um, I accidentally deleted the after video, so, I'm sorry guys, when I come back to do the back, I'll show the front, Thank you guys for watching.